Alright, this video we're just going to be looking at sleeper cells, perhaps races within races, and the fact that there's no Caucasian race and there's no black race, that's not what the Bible teaches. The Bible teaches about Amalekites, the Canaanites, it teaches about Edomites, it teaches about the Philistines, which were like a, you know, sort of a <coughs> branch of slightly lighter skinned. Uh, people uh, which I believe were very much absorbed uh, up by a lot of the Danites who who were thrown out of Israel and of course they venerated their serpent god uh, Satan and that is what uh, you look at the Philistine god which is represented by Dagon the fish god you look at the Catholic Church and you also look at the fact that the Catholic Church has absorbed the, the dragon and they also used the eagle, synonymous with the eagle, which was uh, likened um, to the Danites and the Philistines and so on. And so you're getting that absorbed by the, you know, the Romans at that time, which later became Italians, you know. But even Italy is full of different uh, races, even though they might look the same color. And then you go to the UK and you say, well, they're Caucasians. No. It's like there are lots of different races within a race. and uh, But the Bible does talk about the Edomites. Um, you know, there's this thing about uh, the black Africans being the true Jews. And there's, this, there's also this thing about the Anglo-Saxons uh, being the sort of tribe of Ephraim and stuff like that. Now, this is, uh, this is all lies. This is all propaganda. Um... You can't get absolute truths like that because each, even even each uh, so-called race, or sleeper cells within that, which have been infiltrated by these guys, the Illuminati, and the Illuminati aren't exclusively white. They're not exclusively black. They're um, different colors. They're all different colors within there. Um, and the big question, of course, is who are the people who are in Israel today? Um, now we know that a lot of the elite Jews um, won't be, they, they might have some, um, you know, Jewish marriage lineage, but exclusively I think uh, they trace themselves back to a race within a race, and they know that uh, there's, there's a large representation of the tribe of Dan out there in Israel, but that doesn't mean to say that most of them are the tribe of Dan. You know, because the first city that was built was within the ancient uh, borders of the tribe of Dan, where we have Tel Aviv today. But that doesn't mean to say, again, that everyone out there, you know, the lighter skinned race is, is the tribe of Dan. That's that's another lie that we, that we got to confront, because there are mostly Jews that are in Israel that God has brought out there. And yes, there's a synagogue of Satan as well. And that doesn't mean to say that all synagogues are of Satan, again. So you got you got to be have discernment. You got to be really careful that you just don't label people. Uh, well, this guy's a Caucasian. That means he's an Edomite. That's a lie. And if I see a black American, well, he that you know that means of course that he's what a, a, a true Jew because of uh, the black Israelites that 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 preach that lie. Of course not course not um, so these these black races have all different types of races within Africa all different tribes all different uh, cultures and kindreds within there and uh, you know certainly the slaves came from both East and West Africa and um, so there's a lot of uh, different traditions within all that yes I would say there's a high percentage of Amalekites in there which I believe they're a darker race people um, you know from sort of Central Africa region or basically emigrated there and another interesting uh, darker race tribe is the Nubians very influential in Africa you know where is their original source and race but there's a, a low percentage of um, darker skinned people in Africa that 
have true cultural lineage from Israel. There are some uh, claim to be quite a high percentage within Ethiopia. Um, yeah, I'm not. I'm not denying that. Absolutely not. But the Ethiopian people within the Bible are distinguished as a race. They're actually a separate race from other Africans as well, and they're, they're quite easy to identify. You know, they, they don't look like uh, West Africans, and they don't like, look like even many East Africans. They have their own identity because they come from, you know, you're talking at least five to 7,000 feet up there. And so it's going to, it's given them their own cultural identity, and it's given them their own uh, kindred, if you like. And they even have languages that go back um, thousands of years which uh, are very holy languages and so they are yes quite a proud people but I would say that they have a um, yeah they, they have a very interesting culture and uh, very biblical culture just as the so-called Caucasian race which is no such thing you know you got the Celts coming uh, from looked as if they actually came from um, the Middle East they could have came from, it could have been one of the lost tribes of Israel because they left a lot of standing stones uh, from Israel right across North Africa down through Spain and you see all these standing stones even Stonehenge was said to perhaps been built by the Celts but uh, there are very many Celtic tribes um, at least five sort of well quite well known ones which I've gone over in different videos but even within the Celts, there was uh, Nephilim tribes, you see, so they actually interbred with a lot of the Nephilim tribes as well, which the Romans, which God used the Romans, again, this is the great irony, because, you know, I was talking about the Romans sort of being uh, synonymous with the, you know, the Danites, and uh, perhaps even the, the Philistines, and also some other races within that and uh, you know God used them to destroy a lot of the Nephilim tribes actually wiped a lot of them out just like obviously um, you know Jesus himself said that you know not a stone would stand on another and he was talking about when the Romans would come and attack Jerusalem and so God knows the future God knows what's going to happen in your life the most important thing is that you repent dedicate your life to God no matter what color or kindred you are most many or I don't say most but many who are involved in Illuminati who are involved in secret societies some of them do come out and some of them try to repent and uh, try to come to God a lot of them it will take a lifetime for them to sort of uh, figure out and sort out their their spiritual lives but if they come to Christ I believe I believe most of them can be saved some of them do interbreed with uh, what you might call demons or Nephilim what the Bible calls Nephilim which are hybrids they've been with us for since I would say you know people speak about the line of Cain you know the Canaanites which is uh, very synonymous with these guys <coughs> and so they'll say well is that a colour it's not it's not really a color I would say because it's you know these these guys have interbred with the human race for thousands of years so they can come out black they can come out white you know race is not not an issue with these people but they will manipulate the races they will cause race wars and this is a satanic agenda it's God's agenda to preach the gospel the good news to every tongue kindred and nation as it says in the Bible so I'm going by God's word and so yes if you're black you can you can be a spiritual Jew if you're black. If you're white, you can be a spiritual Jew. If you're Jewish and you get born again, you can be a spiritual Jew. So the most important thing is that we're born again spiritual Jews. The word Jew means to exalt and venerate and praise the name of Yah, Yahuda. That's what it means. Uh, why do the black Israelites not teach the true meaning of what Paul was teaching? Become a spiritual Jew and start to praise the name of Yah, Yahweh. Um, and there are many black um, Israelites that do that and I'm happy with that but they just need to lose the racism they need to understand that there are yes lighter colored people than they who are actually Israelites as well and yes there are 
um, lineage Jews within Israel as well. Let's, sorry to kind of ramble on here, but let's hear what this guy's got to say about it. Things like the Fed, uh, the Kennedy assassination, all of that could be wrapped up in uh, part of this. This, based on my research, those were all carried out by the exact same organization. You know, some people call them the Illuminati or the Hidden Hand or the, the Seeds of Satan. Uh, some people have linked them to the Synagogue of Satan, written about also in the Bible, which may be the descendants of Edom and the Edomites, who are really, um, they're really Satanists, Luciferians, posing as Jewish Zionists, who I think this part of the deception is we're getting the world to blame the Jews for um, everything that's going wrong, but I, I think that's just another layer of the deception because it is a very tangled and highly complex uh, series of protective layers that keep people from the truth. It's like peeling an onion. So um, that is where I think these dark forces originate. The 9-11 the plan itself, I suspect had its origins in the 60s, 70s. The way I've come to look at it is you do your own research, spread it out among several them. You will develop a feeling about what's really happening. Okay. And so, yeah, we can, we can have a broader spectrum here. We can look at the religions and the fact that a, a lot of these uh, kindreds that we've been discussing, maybe even a lot of the lost tribes of Israel, that some of them might be within Judaism, <clears throat> okay? Some of them will be within Catholicism and Christianity. Some of them will be um, even within Islam. There's even lost tribes of Israel within Islam that Satan has been deceiving into thinking that they are sons of Ishmael but they're actually being called by the Messiah into a relationship with them and later I've heard testimonies that people discover that they've been they've been given a tribe name okay and these are people that you might describe as the children of, of Ishmael um, Arabs okay as well and so you know the human race is very mixed um, with within its uh, you know, within its breeding over the past thousands of years. And so we, we must understand this truth. Um, there's, there's, there's very little uh, in the way of lineages that we can call pure, pure lineage, because even the fallen angels, they had to procreate with the human women. Uh, which, which means that they're, they're, they're not even a pure race either. They could be half angel, half human. A lot of them, yeah, they're very, very evil, but and yet they still, they still made an image of God, you know, and uh, they still have a chance to repent all the way up to their death, which most of them don't uh, do, but some of them do, and it will certainly take the rest of their life to actually uh, work out their salvation with fear and trembling. Now again, what we got to understand about the Antichrist is that yes, he's a fallen angel. Um, it could it could be one of the hybrids, but it could be a lit the literal fallen angel um, appearing and uh, saying that he's 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 God, you know. Um, so yes, he's going to dis display a lot of uh, power, signs and wonders. He's going to be able probably to, I would suspect, to to be able to heal, to be able to to prophecy certain things um, which may come to pass uh, he's going to be involved in a lot of miracles as well now that's not to say the body of Christ is going to be involved in a lot of miracles again this is why we have to discern one comes in his own name it could be the title of the Pope the triple six number it could be uh, which I think he is the you know, the, the Antichrist, or some say that he could be the false prophet. As one of the two, what you've got in the end is, you know, you've got the false prophet and the Antichrist religion, which I believe is Catholicism. And uh, then you've got the beast, which is like, uh, 
a political and religious power it could be synonymous with Islam but they're planning to destroy Islam um, quite soon as well through this third world war they want to destroy Islam thusly also destroy um, Christianity as well to bring out this one world religion which is headed by the Vatican um, and so this is this is the truth this is what's going on now uh, do I think the Antichrist do I think the false prophet do I think they'll be of a certain color or kindred well I know that the the Catholic Church is very very synonymous with uh, what you might call the Caucasian race but also um, we talk about the beast and a lot of these uh, also the false prophet he could be from a, a, a darker race background because in, in the end they all work together uh, for Satan and that's that's why we have this right left paradox you know we actually find that um, communism was actually created and financed by um, Illuminati capitalists most of them again you say well they're they're Jewish they're not really Jewish they're not they're the synagogue of Satan that they're not true Jews they're not real Jews um, they're, they're Canaanites they are probably a lot of them will be from the Edomite side and so you know intermarried with some Jews and then we have we have these guys ruling and reigning um, in the world you know so uh, you know you just got to use your discernment um, Satan is out to cause a lot of confusion he wants uh, blacks to hate whites whites to hate blacks you got to get the hatred out of your heart get a bit more discernment about um, there are sleeper cells, races within races that's going on just now. There are Nephilim races, hybrid races that are infiltrating a lot of the your black race or your white race or your red race or your yellow race. Yes, they're all out there. You know, there's videos of a Nephilim going back in the Second World War in Japan. And this guy was about 30 feet tall. You know, can briefly look at that video. You know, here he is right here. And it's not CGI. This this is uh, going back to the Second World War. You can see the height of him there, and he's about thirty, at least thirty feet tall. You can see he's a hybrid. The way the way his neck is there, it's very interesting. You know, I, I got to apologize for the trains. This is why I try and make videos at night time because so many trains that pass. You can see all the videos about this uh, from Japan. Look at the size, and that's just one. You, you go to the Solomon Islands. Let's let's see if um, let's see if there's any. And there's some giant bones being found. There's, there's people that have been seen to go to the Solomon Solomon Islands and never come back um, because there are giant Nephilim tribes out there. Um, just looking at this one. Oh, this is like Solomon Islands. Very interesting. I'm not sure if she would be a Nephilim. Um, because the Nubians are... They, they get sort of um, genetic things happening like this. Like black people with blonde hair and blue eyes and stuff. And they get like... Uh, there's one of the tribes out there that have that wear tartan. And so you can see the Celts are very much North African. Uh, they're not an exclusive white race. They're not exclusive to Ireland or, you know, Spain. You know, they, they actually came from North Africa and probably their origins came from, from Israel as well. And again, again, they weren't synonymously white or black. They were, they were mixed, you know. As some of the Celts were quite dark when they came over to the British Isles as well. You have to realize that. So, so there we go. Um, so truth I just believe that giants still exist now the Solomon Islands is a place known as a land that time forgot and the locals believe that giants still inhabit these lands they believe that these giants live in a massive underground city and they can travel pretty much undetected by modern men by using a massive underground tunnel system that they built now what's really odd about these claims is there are legends about giants that once lived in Romania and these legends state that these giants also built massive underground cities and they also built and traveled through tunnel systems Making me wonder, 
Could these stories possibly be true? Now, there are tons of very interesting stories about giants in the Solomon Islands, making people believe that the locals might just be right. One very strange encounter happened in 1988 when a bulldozer broke down. After inspection, they discovered that a pin that held a 10-ton blade broke. So they left the blade and sent the bulldozer back for repairs. The next day, they went to go retrieve the blade, but the blade was nowhere to be seen. Now, the workers were really shocked and confused as this blade weighed about 10 tons and no one within that area, except for them, had the equipment to move something this heavy. And when they started to do a little detective work, they stumbled upon some huge footprints. And as they were following these huge human footprints, they found the blade about 100 meters away. And this terrified the workers. Yeah, I mean, so there's, there's, there is giant tr tribes you can imagine. You can't imagine it in the inner cities. What you got in the inner cities is like race wars and... This is what Satan wants. He wants uh, black and white people to be fighting against each other. <clears throat> and then perhaps these uh, tribes will emerge again and start uh, taking over. You see, so what you need to understand is the Bible is there for our correction, reproof, for our teaching. we got to allow the Word of God to teach us. we got to allow all these testimonies that we can see now to actually start um, doing some work on our heart and mind. Um, no matter what background we're from, no matter what gangland or territorial um, gang that we're from, there's a lot of that in Glasgow as well, or wherever it is you're from, could be from America somewhere, could be from Europe, could be from Australia, so yeah it's about time to ask for wisdom from the Lord, ask for a heart like God to be able to discern these things and to pray um, for God's will to be done in your life hallelujah and to have a heart like God we must love what is righteous and hate what is evil that's having a heart like God not racist not racism that's that's not a heart like God God created all the races okay and yes you know uh, they, they branched off because of, of some of the sinful decisions that they made you know like Jake, Jacob and Esau and all that stuff but the human race now have a chance to get right with the Most High God through his son and if, if you're not preaching that you are preaching racism 